Dude. I really suck at skateboarding, honestly. And I wish I wasn't so bad at it. <laughs> I don't know how to get better. I was watching this video. This guy was going down like a mountain. He was going like 70 miles an hour. And he was doing like all types of like brake maneuvers. Can't get it right, man. I don't know what's wrong. Is it my... Am I not brave enough? Am I not focused enough? Okay, this hill is actually way steeper than I thought it was gonna be. I'm in this park. Uh, lately I've been trying to find some better environments to be in. I'll try to clear my head. Think about getting a helmet. I don't know how to get good at this. I think we've all been there in life. Suck at something. Maybe suck at everything. Every time I have to break, I just ditch my board. Oh, you know what? This is the place that I thought it was. Cause I drove past this lake right here last, last afternoon, a little bit after. Well, it was right before sunset. And I was like, man, I gotta get over here, but I don't know where to park. But you go to a park. And if you look up parks near you, you can find one and it might be kind of nice. Hold on, let me switch the camera around. This camera thing kind of looks like a gun. I'm gonna get myself killed today. Hi, Gucci's. Kind of ugly, but refreshing. Alive. It's better than hanging out in a strip mall parking lot all day, right? Still struggling to understand how this camera thing works. I wish I had like I don't know, like a sash or something for my skateboard, so I could just release it and it'll still be connected to me, but not like super uncomfortably and dangling around. Nobody wants that. Pretty nice. I'm 
trying to remember to stop spitting gum out on the ground. Because recently, I recently found out that gum is like plastic. It's not even, a, I thought that it was like a tree bark or something. I don't fucking know. Apparently it's plastic. I guess I should have known that. I thought that like ants ate your, your gum when you spat it out, but they don't. So whenever I spit gum out on the ground, I've always had a habit of doing that. I thought it was fine. I thought it was more than fine, actually. I thought it was good for the, uh, the ecosystem. It's not. So. East Collier says, don't spit your gum out on the ground, kids. It's bad for the ecosystem. outside more. Feel the wind in your hair. I count skateboarding as exercise. It's definitely cardio. What I worry about uh, doing like an uneven amount of exercise on one leg. And it's gonna like start to show. Like that right there, that was really lame. I gotta learn how to do the thing where you get it on the back of the board and like fucking shred. My only 2022 goal is to learn how to break on my skateboard. Why does this fucking thing? Okay. Well, the sidewalk is closed and I just stepped in mud. And since I already stepped in mud, I guess I'll step in a lot of mud. Maybe a little less mud. Yeah, it's that nice crispy grass feel. Hopefully I don't get bit by any ticks. That was a weird sound. Oh, it's the sound of the cars on the bridge. It's kind of gross. It's beautiful. It's beautiful in its own way. But I don't know. Uh, I don't think I'm trespassing. Oh, the sidewalk's closed because they haven't made the rest of it. Whoa, look at this. I'm about to trespass. Oh yeah, now we're really living the hobo life. Wow. So dude, that means that that path that I was just skating and all the ones that I've been on this last week, they were just put there. They just been laid down. It's crazy how fast they can do that and how they never had it before. Gonna trespass any further than that. I'm gonna get a still of this.
Yeah, man. Just trying to adventure more. See the world. I've been watching this guy on YouTube. His name is uh, Kurt Kaz. This fucking goes all over the place. Probably goes a little too far sometimes. But he just fucking walks around super adventurously in random countries on the back corners of his ship filming himself. It's like, whoa. Are you seriously? Like, living on Like, I remember one time I went to this, um, I think it was like a wildlife refuge in Washington. There were like bison there. Uh, not Campbell, something, something else. I can't remember all the animals that were there, but it was really cool. It was amazing. Um, and the whole time, there were so many people there that were like looking around and wondering like, where's my girlfriend? Where's my children? Where's my family or whatever that I'm supposed to be doing this thing here with? It's like, I don't have none of that. I'm just here to hang out, get some pictures of the bison. You know, but it's cool stuff. You gotta get loose, man. How you doing? See, it's not that awkward. You know, you're that guy with the camera on out. And just a normal dude riding around, rambling into a machine, trying to remember something, you know? Trying to live the memory. fresh air, that blood pumping, you know the feeling, man, you're alive, oh, no, I gotta go all the way back up this hill, see, this is why I kind of want an electric skateboard, but I don't know if that makes me a poser, <laughs> Very smooth. Yeah, I wish I could do tricks. I have to practice. That's all it is. You just have to actually do them. It's not about your shoes. It's not about your wheels. It's not about your wood or your deck or your grip or whatever the fuck. Your truck. I don't even know what the fuck these parts are, bro. But I know it feels good when I do it. Whew. This is Stafford, Virginia. I don't know if I got that hawk on camera. Hey guys, on. I gotta follow my own advice more. I keep, I always tell myself, this and that, what I need to do every day, what type of routines I need to maintain, what type of blah, 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 blah. I always talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, but don't fucking do anything. Where's the action, man? It's 
no action, it's all cap. No cap, bro. No more capping. All 2022, I need to go hard. And we'll try it uphill. So it's a little easier. Oh yeah, that's a super nice angle. Okay, it's not easy, life's not easy. Skating is a life lesson, man. It's about learning to take that leap of faith. I don't want to be Tony Hawk, man. I don't want to be an Olympian level skateboarder. Okay. I don't need to be able to grind down the handrails and all that stuff. And, but it'd be nice to know that I'm not about that. Like I can avoid getting hit by a car or, you know, make a sharp turn, you know what I mean? Or go down a hill. Uh, I think I'm getting better. And I, it's like, you only get better when you really try your hardest. So. Light them up. my shoes bro I swear no it's my technique no excuses you can do this okay you know what I'm gonna put some other shoes on Look, I was real clear. I know I'm a poser. Okay. I don't know how to do this shit. I don't know how to get it sideways. I don't know how to jump. I can barely go off the sidewalk. Okay. But everybody got to start somewhere. where I'm at. <sighs> That's a pretty fun little spot. <sighs> kind of short. Looks like they're working on it. What can you say? So I kind of like more about, you know, I wonder about that a lot too, because Virginia was one of the, like the first states. So 
you think since they had the most time basically since Country Bam started. And this is where they brought the first slaves. Uh, uh, you think they'd have a skyscraper or two. But no, Virginia's hollowed out, man. It's a shame. Let me get these shoes. They're not fans, they're Levi's. Oh God, if anybody ever watches this video, <laughs> they're gonna tear me a new one. I don't know where the other one is. The trunk is a mess. Okay, cool. All right, I'm feeling this vibe. Let's get this party started. Today is, um, fucking hell, fucking hell. February 19th. I don't know what day it is. February 19th. Woo! 2022. I ain't got shit to do. I'm looking for some spots to shred, buddy. So, strap on up your seatbelts and helmets and strap-ons and get ready for a party. Um, This spot was kind of dead. It wasn't dead dead. It was cool. It was a nice little thing. Not as it wasn't as nice as the one I went to uh, the other day. So I'm gonna check out one other spot by intuition, and then I'm going to probably go back to that other place. And you know we're about to get the grind on today. If every day I make at least $50, I don't even care. Real shit. If every day I make 50 bucks, I look good. My goal is 100. I usually do like 70 something. Now, where does it all go? We can talk about that later. I do not know where I am. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? I'm gonna make a left. You know, it's actually not, uh, once you make the habit, well, once you, once you start kind of doing something like, you do something like three times in a week, you start to get used to doing it more often. I've been, I know, I've noticed I've been recording myself a bit more often, doing it a bit more comfortably. Um, I've really been skateboarding a lot more. I think I, I really do think a lot of it's the weather, but you know, another big part is just this shift in my emotional man, and that emotional shift might also be because of the weather. But I digress.
trying to come to terms with my mediocrity in life. I'll post something. I'll post like some art that I like have been thinking about a lot after I made it, months after I drew it, you know, and it'll absolutely fucking bomb online. It'll get like 2.3 likes. And I think it's just because people are like, oh, I feel bad for his art that failed. And it's like, hey, you know what? Some people post art that gets 65,000 likes and they can sell it as t-shirts and make a living off of their creativity. And some people have to be that creative person in spite of the fact that they're mediocre and they'll never and they'll never get all that attention that they desire so much you know and maybe it doesn't matter so much you know for example like on on and if you're watching this and you know me don't say what I'm saying person don't even stop what you're doing but like when I post something on like Twitter or Instagram and then like somebody that I know like interjects or like comments or whatever, it's like, hmm, this is a strange feeling. I don't know. But like when I post on YouTube, it's like nobody in the whole world knows about this channel. Probably like one person does. Uh, I don't know. something on my glasses and I look like shit I need a haircut but I don't know where to go I'm so sensitive about my hair people always tell me my hair looks like shit people always tell me that I look like shit hey, it's mainly family that shit has an effect on you man Like this angle makes my hands look big. 